He has been ice water. Mm, poise. Whoa, second one pops out. Now they don't need a three. No. Ten seconds to go. The freshman Johnson all the way to the bucket. Five and a half to go for UConn. Napier, they have a timeout. They don't use it for the win. Perhaps two tenths of a second still on the clock. Oh. Oh Onions. There was no question that he was going to take that. Well, they have to put. They have to look at the clock. Make sure that. There's not more time that went off, but what a what a shot. Oh. From way beyond the NBA line, Shabazz Napier called out his teammates Saturday and then backed up his words <laughs> with a tremendous shot from well beyond the arc, and they're gonna go look at the clock. But either way, it's gonna be a three-point lead for UConn. Well, pretty much say what you want after that. Trey by Chavez. Man, you would have thought with that much time he'd get it further down the floor, but why? Yeah, he should get maybe a few more seconds or tenths, don't you think? Yeah, it looked like maybe 0.5. Yeah. Which there is a is. big difference because theoretically you'd have a chance right to there, catch and shoot. Right there, 0.8 at least, right? I'd, I'd say points, 0.6 or 7 because it's when it clears <laughs> the net. How about that kid? Well, he's got Moxie. Steps up. I'm sure his teammates a little upset, but as you said early in the game, Sean, if you can back it up, I guess you can say what you want. And he came in three for his last 20 mm. from three-point range. <laughs> and then does that, two for four beyond the arc tonight. Splash. The ball's still in the net there, maybe point seven. Point six. Well, as long as it's more than point two, you got... You can have a catch and shoot. Well, you got to go length of the floor. That's asking a lot. Can't do anything more than catch and turn. Well, they got point two still up there, so they haven't changed it yet. Yeah, they're still looking at it. Remember the game when we came here in 2006? Connecticut was number one, and Villanova was number four in the country. That might have been the best Big Monday we've done together in the nine years that we've done this you know nowhere near the same things at stake tonight those two teams wound up going into the Big East tournament one and two the year Jerry McNamara stole the show for Syracuse in New York but an entertaining game nonetheless you know, see Kevin Ali say you know if they pump don't come and bite and foul them keep that hand up apparently they want to go back and look at this part too well, you know the thing, Sean, you see the big guys came down there so late. They're so accustomed to having help in there. That's why I think Boatwright let Johnson attack the rim. Well, this long delay now is a break for Villanova. Mm -hmm. It does give Jay Wright, without a timeout, a chance to set something up. Are they going to add to the clock? Six. Point, point, point six. six. I think that's right. First on that game here, 2006, Alan Ray was the star for Villanova. He had five threes. And a point three catch, and shoes they got plenty to catch and turn. And they got big on the ball. This is going to be tough. They're going to force it into the backcourt. George Blaney wants a timeout. Now they're going to back screen and lob, I think, to Sutton. And he saw that the other end. Cheek? Well, you, you, if you're UConn, you don't have to worry about fouling. You got a three-point yeah, lead. You can true. foul if you want to. Just don't foul him in an act of shooting. Right. Uh, yeah, an act of shooting at three. Yeah, yeah. That's probably what Ali was referring to too, Kevin. You know, he was saying, "Don't bite." I, don't, I think they've got an inbound with somebody taller, or they won't even get a throw. Neither team has a timeout. Where is Grant when you need him? Huh? Yeah. You talking about Grant Hill? Yeah. <laughs> Well, there were two points up in seconds yeah. on that one. And Christian Lader hit the uh, shot, of course, in the building that's no longer there. It would, it would have been right outside this building in the, it's now the parking lot, the old Spectrum in Philadelphia. Jay told me he drew that play up, by the way. No, I was in the back going, well, we had a great year. What are you going to do? <laughs> Did, didn't you run it against Wake early in the year? Yes. Threw it out of bounds Did pretty not much? Work. Yeah. Johnson's going to throw it in. 
and nobody on the ball. And they'll let him throw it to Yaru, but if he catches it, he's going to have to make one from about 70 feet. Don't go to the ribs. Whoa, whoops, that's coming to us. Whoa. Whoops. Uh, incomplete pass. And that's... We were not the intended target, although it sailed right over our heads. Nice of Alex Oriaki to help. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> nice young man, as you expect from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Yeah. Even under pressure, you get the Massachusetts reference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that should do it. Janaga just needs to get the ball in bounds here. They don't have a timeout to do it. Lamb gets it into Napier, whose heroic basket will stand as the difference. Two days after he called out his teammates, he delivers the shot of the year for the defending national champs. A shot that might play a big part in sending them back to the tournament to defend their title. Tonight's player of the game, brought to you by Ally Bank, is Jeremy Lamb, a career-high 32 points against Villanova tonight. He hadn't had a 20-point game in any of the previous seven, but he re-emerged for the Huskies tonight. Final score in overtime, UConn 73, Villanova 70. Big Monday continues next with number 14, Baylor, taking on Texas. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Now let's send you to beautiful Austin, Texas, and join Dave Pash, Bob Knight, and Holly Rose. So